Hello, my name is Marina Hyde and my book is called What Just Happened? Dispatches from Turbulent Times. And it's a collection of lots of my writing during a period where I think we've all felt like the news has gone down the rabbit hole or gone through the looking glass and things have just come completely chaotic all the time. It's like we've been on a constant ringer cycle. Um, and if anyone knows the way out of that ringer cycle, please do contact me because I'd love to find the way out of it. It covers the politics. It covers the um, royal family, celebrities, sporting heroes and villains, Hollywood sex offenders, philanthropists, philanthropists, billionaires, police, judges. I mean, pretty much everything. The full fairy tale, sometimes pretty grim. And uh, it's a record, I guess, of this extraordinary time we've just lived through. It starts in 2016 and it finishes in this, in this year where things, stories are still unfolding. Um, and it has got a lot of jokes in. And I would like to say that it's got a lot of jokes in. In case you think, how can I go back there? Believe me, this is covers it all, but using the medium of jokes. So I am here in Waterstones, Piccadilly five floors temple of literature outside the news is raging and i'm going to come up with some books that i think can really help you get away from it all <laughs> um my first one is rodham by curtis sittenfeld an author i absolutely love whose shopping list i would read however you don't need to because this is one of her books now this is an alternative timeline so <laughs> this takes you out of current events it, what if hillary had not said yes to bill clinton's marriage proposal what would have happened? Now, she completely makes, uh, she somehow makes Hillary Clinton a romantic heroine who I'm rooting for all the way. And by the end of this book, which is brilliant, I believed in the alternative version of reality so much that now when I see Bill and Hillary on the news, I'm so angry. I'm like, they're not together. <laughs> He's ruined it. He's ruined everything. I despise Bill Clinton because of this book. And, um, and there's some other reasons as well, but it's a super book and I thoroughly recommend. Okay, my second pick is Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons, an absolute comic classic from 90 years ago and still as fresh as when it's written. It's so funny and subtle as a satire that you almost don't realise what, what, that it's happening, but it's nonetheless vicious for that. She satirises all kinds of sort of ridiculous, overblown country literature, and it's, she's a wonderful heroine, Flora Post. You're sort of in love with her and the world by all of it, uh, and all of it by the end. Um, and every time I read this book, which is frequently, I find new things. I'm I think it's incredibly funny and an absolute triumph. Okay, my final pick is The Code of the Worcesters by P.G. Woodhouse. Now, picking any of P.G. Woodhouse I find very difficult. I've picked this one because perhaps it's my favourite, but I don't really like ranking things. And I have to say, there are more funny lines on one page of P.G. Woodhouse than a lot of, is in the entirety of a lot of comic novels I've read. Um, this one has got sort of everything. There is a, a sort of preposterous populist politician in it called Roderick Spode, who we always get iterations of him repeating on ourselves in our, in our lives. And I think we've seen plenty of them stalking around our, our various lands over the last few years. But The Code of the Worcesters is screamingly funny. Every line is a winner. And it will really, you'll marvel that someone can create that many jokes on one single page. Mm -hmm.